guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome back to The Toxic Trace, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a video, a bonsai video on the vinyl that I have. Now I have 19 of them on uh, vinyl, so I thought that'd be a good one to do. Cassettes I have uh, uh, somewhere around 55, 56, something like that, so I might do that one maybe down the road, but anyway. Let's do this. These aren't in any order at all. Um, we only have 19. I don't have them in uh, catalog order, like the cassettes. I have them all in uh, catalog number order. So these are in no order whatsoever. So I'm gonna start with this one first. Running Wild, Brandon Exiled. This one here is uh, very, very good shape. There's a little bit of, a little bit of wear there in the corner. A little bit on the top, but you know, I'm just gonna move in 1985, so it's old. <laughs> I think, if I remember correctly, this is the only one I have that has the uh, has the insert, yeah, the catalog insert, I believe. So I don't know how many of these. Uh, I don't know if these were in every one or not. Not really sure. I don't know if you can even see that, the white. But anyway, that's the catalog list for the bonsais. <clears throat> and this is the inner sleeve. The lyrics on the back. And the bonsai logo. Very dirty. These all need cleaned. But I don't I don't play them that often. Probably should. But they don't get played that much. So I don't play a lot of vinyl anyway, because I find it by the time I dig it out and put it, you know, CDs I just find easier to, to do, so making excuses, right? So, Boy Vod, Roar, 1986 this one came out. Uh, saw them up here in Moncton three years ago, maybe, maybe four years ago, I can't remember now. But, uh, Staking Away, autographed, met the boys, and, uh, yeah, got them to autograph it, so... Sucks can't get the other two, but what do you do, right? And the bonsai logo. This one I paid uh, a fair amount of money for it, like $45, but these things are just crazy to find now, and when you do find them, the prices are just ridiculously insane. Little Fistful of Metal, everybody knows this album. That might help. Yeah, pay 45 bucks for that one. But what do you do, right? If you want to collect them. <laughs> this one here I paid quite a bit for too. I think it was. Yeah, I'm not sure it's not on there, but. Thinking 40 bucks, maybe a little more, I'm not sure. Yeah. Sure, everyone knows this one. It's a wicked album. 
can never go wrong with Hellhammer. Again, these are very dirty. You gotta clean these up. And maybe, you know, quit making excuses as they're playing them a little more. <laughs> Right. Alright. This one still has a tag on it from what I paid for it. This one I paid 12 bucks for. So I got this one a long time ago. Because you'd never find these for 12 bucks now. <laughs> Tyson Dog. Beware of the dog. I, man, it's been so long since I heard these guys. I don't even remember what they sound like. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know. <laughs> Which is why I should clean these up and start playing them more. This is all in really good shape. As far as scratches and stuff go, they look great. Just dirty. <laughs> Price tag on this one, $18 for this one. Raven all for one. Just a classic album that everyone knows. This one's in super good shape too. Like the sleeve is awesome. Okay, this one here has an inner sleeve. Lyrics on one side. Photos and shit on the other. Uh, very dirty. And that's why I don't play vinyl a lot because you got to keep flipping it. <laughs> so uh, playing in the background was the new uh, Overkill. My cousin had got it for me for Christmas, uh, gray vinyl, gatefold. So actually my first time playing the vinyl. So uh, anyway, creator, endless pain. This thing is like mint. This, case, this cover is pretty, it's got like a little tiny crease right here in this corner. But other than that, it's not really much wear on it at all. It's perfect. Same with the vinyl. Looks amazing. Creator and this pain. That's the only uh, creator one I have on vinyl, bonsai that is. I have uh, Pleasure to Kill hanging over there in a the frame, but it's not bonsai. So. I know I bought this one a long, long time ago. And I think it might have been around twelve dollars. It was about ago, it must be close to twenty years ago. I found it at Backstreet Records. So it's got a few creases and stuff along here and stuff, but other than that, it's pretty pretty good shape. Iron Angel Winds of War. Great album. Love that album. And up next, my number two band. Some of you probably already know who that is. Destruction, Sentence of Death. This was, uh, when I first heard Destruction, this was the very first thing I heard by them. It was probably 1985. <laughs> that was the year I met, uh, this was going 84, but that was the year I met, uh, Ronnie Smith, guy lived just a few houses down from me. He was all into this back then. Still is, but he's the one that got me into all this. And I first heard that probably 85. That'd be my guess. <laughs> and it would have been on Bonsai. Yeah. 
this one I paid $15 for. Venom at War with Satan. Now this is, uh, it's done by, neat, the cassette's the same. Uh, neat records on it, but it has the BRC 1900, which is the catalog number on the bonsai list. So although it doesn't say, but, oh, it does, look at that. On my cassette, it does not. Oh, but on here it does. It says bonsai right there. Hmm. Things you'll learn when you go through and look at stuff. You know, this one's gatefold. Which is, uh, as far as I know, the only gatefold bonsai. Single disc. I think everything was single disc back then. Look at me, Satanist child. Born of evil, thus defiled. That is cool. Yeah, very cool. And I believe I paid 20 bucks for this one. And from what I've been reading everywhere, this is the uh, the highest selling, or the most copies sold of any bonsai, is the Venom Canadian Salt. I haven't played this in a long time. a lot of noise coming from upstairs oops anyway hold on okay we're back um i might make that was over 12 minutes for that uh first part so i might make this into uh two videos because i had to run upstairs i forgot i had thrown a wash in and it was off kilter so yeah, anyway, got some overkill playing again. Uh, let's continue on with the bonsai. This one here is in amazing shape as well. No tag on it, so I don't remember what I paid for it. But, uh, and I, I gotta really start playing these because I don't remember what these guys sound like. I also have this on cassette. This and I think one of their other ones, I can't remember what it's called. I have two of them on cassette anyway. I think I only have the one on vinyl. But Maniacs. Shout it out. Thing is mint. Really good shape. Got it from Backstreet Records. Maniacs. Up next is Tokyo Blade, Knight of the Blade. These guys are awesome. I'm sure all you guys know who Tokyo Blade is. Love these guys. Again, this one here is like mint as well. Really, really good shape. <clears throat> Another one for Backstreet. Got a lot of them for Backstreet Records. <clears throat> this one I got at the record fair. 25 bucks. And it's in really good shape too. Not as good as the last couple, but still pretty awesome. Nasty Savage. Wicked album. Everyone knows Nasty Savage. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what I paid for this one. Or even where I picked it up. I don't really remember. But, uh... Oh, this one's got an insert in it. Cool. 
Just a little band. You've probably heard of these guys. This is my favorite album by these guys. Great, great album. And it had an insert, so that's cool. Lyrics and photos. The Mighty Cliff. Bandai. <clears throat> this one I do remember. Uh, record fair maybe three years ago. Three years ago, probably. Since the last time I went to a record fair. Haven't gone in the last couple years because because you always see bonsais there and they're always crazy money and and I really feel the urge I need to buy one. <laughs> this one has quite a bit of wear on it around the edges and stuff, but not real bad. No weights. Again, my favorite Slayer album. This one cost me 50 bucks. Which I wasn't real happy about, but what do you do? Well, this one has cool insert. Bonsai. Third sheet. And the photos. Anyway, haven't looked at that in a while. <laughs> One of my all-time favorite albums right here, Seven Churches. And this is a band that I don't remember what they sound like at all. It's in really good shape though. Thing looks mint. Overdrive, Swords and Axes. 1984. Okay. No clue what they sound like. Don't remember them at all. Really gotta start playing this shit. White label. And last but not least, another Venom that I have. This thing's in really good shape too. Possessed. Pretty good album, if I remember. I uh, burned this place to the ground. Can't go wrong with that. Enough to spin this later. See what that's all about. Lyrics side A. Lyrics side B. So that's it. Oh, seven minutes. Yeah. If I put them together, it'd be around 20 minutes. That's not too bad, I guess. Um, so anyway, that's my Bonsai vinyl collection. Um, i say a lot of it I don't really remember. I'll have to start playing these again sometime soon. And uh, yeah, maybe talk about them again later sometime. So anyway, that's the Bonsais. Have a good one. See you later.